Hello everyone, my name is Kwan. Today we will keep exploring the shader of the shader modifier in Apple SceneKit framework. So we will explore some of this command of the shader. Since this is part two of the talk about shader, if you have not watched my previous video on shader, please do so. Uh, on this video, uh, if you look, look on the left here, at the bottom, uh, we have the fragment shader. Uh, the fragment shader basically uh, give you color and transparency. The middle object here is the surface. So if you have a sphere here, we just change the texture of the surface. And on the top object here, uh, we have the vertex. So basically here is a torus and uh, we apply some of the shader command here. You can see that it twists around. So the bottom we have fragment shader. We change the color. The middle we have the surface, the point surface. So basically it changes the texture of the surface of the object. And the top uh, we have uh, the vertex shader. Uh, it ch change the shape of the the object. I will go over briefly over the script. On the script, uh, basically we create a scene. Uh, we create a camera, and we create the default lighting. And on this script here we create a four objects so this is object uh, number one object number two so object number one number two and object number three as you can see here I might change the uh, geometry of the object so you can see the shader effect here is for object number three. Uh, here's a little the little clip inside this one. So we can check the transparency of the uh, shader. Here's uh, the tree material. And here's other shader command that I will do exper experimental about it. So there is a vertex shader, fragment shader, and surface. Here's uh, the command that you can uh, embed the uh, shader command inside the shader modifier command itself. But on this script, we will use this format. Uh, here we try to test the fragment shader. On the first uh, object here, uh, we have the two geometry. Uh, we give it fixed color. 0.5 so you, that's why on the green here if, if you say you want here 0.5 you will see different color and on the second object here we basically change the color as a function of time you can see that uh, the red color is you seen u time u time basically come from if you read the Apple document, is U time here. It's a current system time in second. So we use we use the U times just to so we have a size square of U time. So basically it toggle between zero and one. So that's why you see that the color change here. Big time. 
uh, on the third uh, object here uh, on the color we put as a function of time you can see the function of time here we also can change uh, the transparency as a function of time too so we do that let's run So if you look at the bottom object here, uh, the outside keep change color, and also it changes the transparency as a function of time. So this is the basic fragment shader. Uh, certainly we can have the gradient color too, uh, but now it's very uh, simple one is we give the fixed color by RGBA uh, number here from 0 to 1 here uh, we change the color we can change like this too uh, and the third one we change uh, on the RGBA as some function of time Now we will explore the entry point surface uh, shader. Uh, I just copy this shader from Apple document and play around with it. Uh, if you run it, uh, you can see that uh, the cube down here has certain structure. And to understand the shader language is very uh, difficult. It requires a lot of mathematics calculation so here we have the tube torus and cube uh, we explore the vertex geometry uh, as you can see the, on the top object here it keeping larger and larger while the middle object the torus is basically toggle between large and small and on the bottom one we add some of the uh, sh complex shader here you can see that uh, the bottom one is same torus as this one but it got twisted by the shader here, which I copy from uh, Apple document. So on the top one, you see the shape uh, keep expanding larger and larger because this one, as time got larger, if you got larger. And on the middle object the torus because we use a size square so basically size square range from 0 0.0 to 1 so it keep toggle because of size square and on the third the bottom one shadow vertex is a very complex one so you got twisting the torus Uh, here we try to combine the shaders together to see the effect. Uh, on this one, uh, basically we just turn on the shader surface. So if we turn on the uh, vertex shader to see what happened. See on here other shape uh, after we turn on the uh, vertex shader. 
you can see that uh, the uh, original shape has been changed. Let's turn on the Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you. See you in the next video. So far in this script, uh, we store the shader program as a string like this. And uh, it's quite difficult to read because we have to concatenate on the string together. Normally, the shader code is stored in a file and probably from the shader library. So I just create uh, those shader file right down here. So we create each file separately, then we bring it in. So basically, just copy this uh, into a file and put in the asset here and take out on the uh, concatenation out. Uh, here we still use, uh, we create a mutable dictionary and we still use the shader code string up here. Down here uh, we read the file, the shader file from there. So we use, we put as a string content of file and as bundle main bundle but for our resource and this is the uh, uh, the file name okay. so I name you can name anything you want to uh, but at least be consistent here I say the vertex shader F for fragment shader surface and lighting so so I basically read uh, the shader file into a variable here. Then uh, I uh, fill it in the uh, dictionary, and finally uh, assign to the geometry. Or uh, one way you can basically uh, read directly from the file and assign to the dictionary like this. So uh, you put on a shader in a file and you read the file and turn it into a string and you assign the uh, dictionary. This one way Similar but more accepted uh, 
a variable Uh, if you like to understand more about uh, vertex shader or fragment shader uh, on my channel Ramacat, I have playlist uh, web here which talk about how to build a shader program. Uh, it's very similar to uh, Metal in Apple.